Okay. Ah, all those doors open. How is he sweating without skin? So inaccurate. <laughs> Good point, actually. Accurate with the punching. You know, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. I think that's how you do it. Oh, le is left. We don't just do one, two, one, two with the speed bog. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it looks it looks better. In my boxing history. My grandpa used to have a bo boxing bag in his basement. He showed me how it worked once. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. <laughs> Something like my kids would say. You score? I've got a mean midget. I got a mean midget. I sent parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? Hmm. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss with no lips? <laughs> Can I have one of your clients? Uh, yeah. Why do I get all the clients? Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Yeah. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Uh, I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Hmm, I think you're up to something. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. <laughs> what happened at the Christmas party? Blacked yeah. out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Hmm. And this is where my memory starts to fade, because I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. You can see it like a typewriter, computer-y thing. <laughs> well, nothing new. We didn't really explore his room, did we? So there's a scene here. So that so there's the um, the wine bottle there on the side, or sorry, the uh, the bourbon bottle, um, 
and there's the taking a slug of the of his booze, and that was actually like I, we had lots of math problems early in the game where we were lining up lining up um, camera angles, like you mentioned, and um, these these camera angles, if we had it off between the real time and the pre-render stuff, things got kind of messy, and so that was one of the first scenes we had where. Manny, as one character, goes and interacts with another item in the scene, and it also has to be placed very precisely in the scene because it has to appear to be on the shelf. And it was really difficult to coordinate, you know. He has to walk to exactly the right spot, line up to perform his animation. The cup has its own animation of flying through the air to his mouth. There's all these weird ways we handled it. I think we, we, we changed that later to, to handle it better so that the cup was actually attached to it and we'd swap it in, but, you know, blank out the one that was on the shelf, put in the one that was in his hand like a magic trick but originally that was something we used to test it out and make it work and it was I remember spending days on that and just being worried like oh man we're never going to get this to align perfectly between 2D and 3D hmm Look at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. Hmm. That's some premium-looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Okay. Yeah, something I remember something about the the mural. This would be the mural in uh, what's that guy's name? The other, the, the nemesis uh, office. And Domino. Domino. The, yeah, the mural on the ceiling of Domino's office uh, is uh, there was some something. I think it maybe that um, that angle wasn't planned or something in the in the game, and then whoever did the textures for that room put this crazy mural on there and so it was like oh we have to we have to show the mural we got to we have to get that up there there's i remember there was some sort of fiasco around that mural usually it's the other way around yeah. usually artists put a bunch of beautiful work into something and then someone turns the camera the other way and doesn't show it right exactly oh uh, yeah like a woman with a bird weird Hmm. Oh, she's got to save herself. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Hmm. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Uh. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No. No, but I like to hear your description of it. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. <laughs> Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Good point. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. <laughs> So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Fat day. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. 
Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Okay, right. exhausted. Woo. Uh. Okay, let's go out. See what we're down the stairs. Whoa. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Yes. Although I wouldn't say it to a big pink monster looking thing. What's in here? Ooh. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Oh, this is very particular. We'll be in the right place. The games we make nowadays, we try to keep them real time, and the environments uh, in the t will come in in the tens of thousands of polygons, probably, but. Um, or at least under a hundred, I would say, at least at the Telltale Studio. But um, here, they I think we're almost unlimited, unless it crashed the machines all the time. Yes, it, it was unlimited, and it was like trying to render it on your iPhone. Well, remember, all, crazy. he modeled like every single nut and bolt everywhere. That's what it was. That's yeah. what, and they were all high res. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, a certain amount of this was us not it really might knowing, get close and us not being efficient about where we, uh, how we set everything. As an animator, when you open one of these environments to animate in, you have to basically throw everything away except for the one thing that, <laughs> that Manny touches or walks next to or something. That wheel should open it. Open it. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Hmm. Fire extinguisher? Put away. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, a bloom. <laughs> uh, what else? A, another bloom. Fire extinguisher. Scythe. Red. And a bloom. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, another one. QA, we got on the project way, way earlier than we ever had on any other project, and we would play the game with the concept art on the screen. But Manny was modeled and done and lit. Or, well, maybe he wasn't lit, I don't know, but he would zoom around the concept art, and it was all black and white. And uh, that's why I was... Modeled. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that could be quite interesting, actually. Uh, now... I need two worms, actually. Need another balloon. All will become clear soon, boys and girls. Do 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 do. are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? <laughs> Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! <laughs> My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. jeez, uh, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Away. Okay, let's go back this way. Hmm. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Hello? Hmm. 
go back up here. See if he's back in his office. Oop. It's locked. Ah. in there. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna go in. Not picking that up. Whoa. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Let's, uh, was it this way? No, it was the other way. Uh, there we go. That was this one, wasn't it? We'll, we'll find out soon enough. I should have saved it. the jazz okay uh, you still there yeah nothing in there but my cloak yeah I'm gonna let it air out some more Message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Hmm. 